Hello everyone, my name is Mac and I'll show you how to use my MVC framework. It's called Max MVC Framework. It comes with a built-in edit-in-place Ajax CMS solution. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to SourceForge and just search for Max PHP MVC Framework. And you're looking for the one with this thumbnail. So you just want to click on this link, click on download, and it downloads it as a zip file. Now I have a, I've actually already got it downloaded. So let me go back to my XAMPP route. And notice I'm using XAMPP as my web server. And under the htdocs directory, I just created another test directory and placed and extracted all the files to it. Now, once you, once you extract all the files and browse to your virtual directory, this is the site that you'll see. This is the site that you'll see. And uh, the links are going to be customized to wherever you've extracted, uh, wh whatever your virtual directory is, since everything is automatically detected by the framework itself. So let me log out for a second. All right. So in order to be able to edit any of the content, you will need to log in. And you can find the login information in the config.php file. The config.php file is located right at the root of wherever you've extracted your files. So just open that up. All right. So you're looking for this variable right here, the edit in place admins. This is a multi-dimensional array, and you can so you can have multiple admins. For by default, it comes with one user called admin and password password. So now let's go back to the site and log in using those credentials. All right. So now once you log in, you once you log in, you can see these two links here. That's the edit content and the edit page properties. Now let's click on the edit page property. The edit page property allows you to change the page page title, the section title, which is right here, the meta description, the meta keywords, the banner URL, which so you can have different banners for different pages. All right, so notice how the page title here is the same as here. So let's change that to my page title. And let's change the section title to my home and hit save. Notice how the page title has changed and the section title has changed. And the section title has not only changed here, but all over the site. So it's changed in the breadcrumb, it's changed in the main nav, and it's changed in the sitemap right here. Now this, this is because everything runs through the concept of a sitemap.xml document. So this, uh, this is similar to the ASP.NET concept, where the web sitemap.xml file controls all the navigation items. So I just thought that was a really neat idea, so I just kind of ported it over to PHP. Now I'll show you how to edit the content. Now you click on the edit content link. And let's just delete whatever is there. Just add some text. Browse. And select an image. Now I already have an image uploaded, but it's pretty simple to upload. Just click on the upload button. It brings this pop-up light box kind of thing up here. So you can just browse. And then, so as I was saying, the uh, image is already, I've already uploaded it. So click on the image. OK, and there you go. Now give it some space, and we'll add an FLV file. Browse, click on video. I just uploaded a FLV file over here. But once again, it's pretty simple. Just click on Upload, Browse, and search for your FLV file, and click on Upload. So click on that file, hit Select, give it some dimensions. OK, and now you have an FLV file embedded. Give it another space. I have this. Just go to YouTube, get a YouTube link. Click on the YouTube button. Hit OK. And now you've embedded a YouTube video. Hit Save. That was an Ajax save. And there you go. This is your modified content. Your image is there. Your content is there. The FLV file is working, and your YouTube video is working. All right, so now let's go to the chat. The chat is pretty much 
a library a plugin actually of the framework. Give yourself a guest name. And you can chat with anyone who comes to your site. It they show up right here. So this is just using PHP free chat. So it's just a wrapper around PHP free chat. Now click on manage RSS feeds. And this is a link that shows up once you log in. And this is once again a plugin that I built from scratch. So pretty much you can create as many RSS feeds as you want. So let's start by creating a news RSS feed. Hit save. There you go. Now it's changed it to news.xml. And plus you have a link to your RSS feed. So let's open that up. Right now it's empty. Notice the description's there. So let's actually add items to this. Click on add new item and that adds a default item. Just click on the item and rename this to whatever you like. So for me it'll be news1. Give it some text. This will be your short description and this will be your full description. So just give it some text. This allows you to add images as well but no videos. The, that's the limitation of the, the RSS feed itself. And the images will need to be cropped down. You can resize it because the resize, once again, is not accepted by the RSS. S but in the full description, you can put whatever you want, similar to what we did in the edit content for the home page. So let's once again select that image that we uploaded. Give it space, select an FLV file. Give it some dimensions. All right, now let's uh, select a YouTube video. Same one, doesn't matter. It works the same for all. Okay, all right, and hit save. There you go, that was an Ajax save once again. This entire thing is driven using Ajax, so it won't work if you don't have JavaScript enabled. Now if you go and browse to your feed, just hit refresh, you'll actually see an item there. Now if you click on that link, it'll take you to your site with a read full description. So let's click on that read full link and that would take you to your full description that you've placed. Once again, you can embed all, anything you want pretty much. Now there's, uh, you cannot embed script tags. So that's one, one thing that I've, uh, a restriction I've placed because hackers can easily get in there and change, you, you know, add some harmful script tags. All right, so that was a quick walkthrough of the framework itself. And uh, later on, I'll create a video where, which actually shows you to how, how to create models, views, and controllers, and how to create a site that would work similar to this.